all right, here we go. You're going to have a playing test due soon. And it's going to need to be done on Canvas. And you're probably freaking out. Oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Ms. Palson, I don't know how to do this. Where do I go? Where do I go? How do I do it? All right, well, take a moment. Breathe. It's okay. First things first, you're going to go to the modules. Okay? Look, there's a module here for online metronome. There's a module here about the playing test. Let's click on that and see what that says. So you're going to click on the playing test and figure out what it is you need to know. Now, each class will be different. I just picked a random line from a random book. Line 333, quarter note equals 80. Oh, I'm going to need to make sure. Oh, be sure we can hear the metronome. Arrange camera so we can see your bowing path. We want to see both arms and hands and all that good stuff. So here's what you're going to do. Go back to your modules and you're going to click on the online metronome. Click here for your metronome. You click there. Give it a moment to load up. Now we already know that needs to be 80 because we already did that a few minutes. Just looked at that a second ago. So let's move this up to 80. And let's listen. We want the eighth notes in there. So there's that. All right. So I'm going to stop that for a minute. And I'm going to go back over here for my test and figure out what it is I need to do and how I'm going to do this. So here we go. I click on the test. Now, at this point, I know what it's going to be. So, you, so I've got my music all set up. I've got my violin, viola, cello, bass, whatever I'm going to play. I've got that all ready to go. And now we need to make sure that the camera can see both hands. We want to arrange the camera so we can see your bowing path and be sure we can hear the metronome. So we're going to click Submit Assignment. Oh, Mr. Pals, we haven't done anything yet. It's okay. We have to record something first. So we're going to record Upload Media. And when this turns on, you're going to see yourself. You can move this around a little bit. I find it a little easier to move it up. And this right here is a perfect way to record your video. Okay? So here's what you're going to do. Let's test it out for just a second. So I'm going to go ahead and arrange my violin and just kind of take a look and see, like, okay, what's going to look best for this? Looks like if I stand about here, then I might need to take a step back. So... Now you might need to move your camera just a little bit. You might need to move your whatever wherever you have your wherever you have your laptop a little bit. But the bottom line is you're gonna want to make sure that you that everything can be seen, okay? Okay, so now I'm pretty confident that I can like play everything I need to and not bump into anything. I mean if I get down to my E string. My bones are gonna go a little bit out of the path, but I mean, here, let me see if I can make this a little bit better. But this is, so this is experimentation that you're gonna to need to do as well, okay? So I'm gonna rearrange things a little bit here where I am, so that way I can see as much as possible, and that way I know I'm gonna sound better and look better and all that kind of stuff. So let me arrange this a little bit like so. Good. So now I know from using the camera and everything, this looks pretty good. I'll be able to see what I need to see, and you will be you know that you'll be able to be graded on what you need to. Okay, so now got my music all set up. Now I need to get the metronome going. So I'm gonna go back over to that screen, click on that, and I'm gonna click play. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna test this out to make sure that I can hear the metronome okay while I'm playing, because I'm kind of loud. Good, I can hear that. So I know I'm good to go with this. So now I'm ready to click on Start Recording. So there's gonna be a three, three um, second countdown. And then it starts. So here we go. I'm gonna double check one more time and then I'm gonna start. Now, I'm 
to stop right there because there's more to the song, but I'm not but I'm not here to just show off my playing skills. I'm here to show you what you need to know. Now, if I'm confident that I'm good, I'm going to ahead and turn off that metronome. I'm going to just go ahead and click finish. But I'm not done yet. I can preview it right here. And so I feel pretty good about that. I, I, I can see that I can see both hands. I can see my bow path and everything. My microphone hasn't clipped out at this point. So that means that my, my microphone, I'm not playing so loud that the microphone can't handle it. So it, it mutes it a little bit. You got to make sure that you haven't clipped out. If you've started to clip, you're going to have to start over right over here and do it again. And there are different ways you can fix that. Ask me if you get really stuck. There's some settings you can change on your MacBook. I'm not going to get into that right now. Now, if I'm satisfied with what I did, I'm just going to click this save button right here. Give it a moment. Wait for it. Wait for it. Then it says ready to submit. Click submit assignment button to finish. Now, this is a, this is a, this is the thing. You you don't need to make any comments. I'll see you click submit assignment. And then assignment sub successfully submitted, you are done. Now, you can do this as many times as you want, okay? So if you go back to submission details, you can look and see. And this is actually what I see on my end. And this is why I want you to do this this particular way. Because then I can see it. I'm going to double check one more time and then I'm going to start. Now, if I really don't like it, then I can click on resubmit assignment. And I can go through the whole process again, okay? It's up to you if you want to do that. You can do this as many times as you want. All right, well, there's one final thing I want to show you before we stop. And I'm actually going to do it through, through Photo Booth here, so that way my video camera's going again. All right, so I've just shown you a really good way to do it. Here are things that I don't want to see. Don't do this, because I will not grade you well. I call this one the scroll view. Okay, that doesn't help me at all. The other one is like the up close and personal. Okay, that, I mean, yeah, that's, I can sort of see your fingers, but not really. We've got another one over here. Please don't do this. That makes me feel like you don't even want to look at me. That's messed up. Okay, I want, I want to help you. The other one is called the extra zoom in. Okay, don't do that. Make sure you don't want to be super close. You also don't want to be like seven. I, I can't go any further because of the wall. You don't want to be 17 miles away where I can barely hear you. Okay, but we got to watch out for this. No scroll views. Okay, and don't run into things. Yeah, my violin beautiful. So these are all things you need to watch out for while you are uh, making your videos. All right, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I hope you are too. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me.